I finally closed uh, the coal plant that was there spewing pollution. I also, <laughs> I also ended up creating. You say uh, I, I, say, no, I said working. I said working <laughs> with People worked down there for ten um, years before you were um, ever elected. You were you still in with, Washington. Uh, the candidates take each other to task over their campaign claims. And you can bet each campus pouring over the statements said tonight, looking for fallacies. Our team of fact checkers went to work immediately. Our Larry Yellen and Dane Placco have been fact checking since the opening minutes of the debate. And Mike, you challenged the candidates during the debate. So what stood out? Well, there were, uh, there were uh, many fact checkers, of course, all over town. Uh, and we uh, have two of the best in the business right here. We didn't really find outright whoppers guys right but well, uh, prevarications perhaps. and we found that each each candidate stretched the truth Larry and that's why they're in politics Mike right that's what they're paid to do anyway one of the areas we looked at was a remark where both candidates clearly disagree and that is the location of the Lucas Museum let's hear what Mayor Emanuel had to say about that what about second, the Lucas, se the second Lucas is, Museum we ran a, uh, we, he, he I says gotta, you're acting like a king no well we ran a process a lot of town hall meetings etc a lot of town hall meetings, well, not really. Actually, in April, when the proposal came up last year, there was one public meeting after that. It came a couple of days after the proposal came forward, about 20 days later. And then about 23 days later, there was a decision to choose the lakefront location. Now, Chewy Garcia wasn't exactly correct on this either, because Chewy said there was no public input. In fact, there was one public meeting. Another area of dispute, whether or not the Civic Federation had praise for Mayor Rahm Emanuel's budget. Let's hear what the mayor had to say. Four years in a row, we've balanced a budget without a property tax, without gimmicks. And four years in a row, we put money back into the rainy day fund and invested in our neighborhoods and our kids. And each budget, the Civic Federation of Lawrence Massal has said we have done the responsible thing of putting our financial house in order. Okay, on that point, if you read further into the Civic Federation statement, they do say that they are deeply concerned with the ability of the city to make debt service and pension payments down the line. And with respect to the mayor's 2015 Chicago Public Schools budget, they said that it's filled with accounting gimmicks and that it is a short-term, short-sighted plan. You could say the mayor was a little off when saying there was praise there, Mike. All right, uh, fact-checking Chewy Garcia, Dane Placco. Mike, one of the big uh, questions all along this campaign for Chewy Garcia is how is he going to pay for those thousand new Chicago police officers he promises to hire when he becomes mayor? Here's what he said about that tonight. Uh, I said I will hire a thousand additional police officers to engage in community policing. We begin by taking half of the overtime that is currently budgeted in the city budget to pay for that, to begin paying for that, to put officers in the academy, train them. Half the overtime, he says, begin, but half the overtime. So we did a deep dive into the numbers. In 2014, police overtime came to about $95 million for the city of Chicago. Half of that would be $47.5 million. Now, Garcia himself has estimated the cost of hiring 1,000 police officers, $120 million. That's $120,000 per police officer. When you do the division, I'm not good at math, but I could get this right, <laughs> 395.83 officers. That's a long way guys from uh, the promised 1,000. There was also this kerfuffle tonight about the issue of the longer school day. Take a look. My opponent disagrees with the full day. No, I, I fall don't. For it. No, I don't. You're, sure you <laughs> you're, you're, you're lying it, you're again. I don't disagree with the extension of the school day. Uh, 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 you extended just, the school day but we, failed to fund it so that kids can actually benefit from it. So you hear Garcia there say he does not disagree with the extension of the school day. Yet, look what we found on his Facebook page. This is posted on Garcia's campaign Facebook page, March 5th, a video titled, Longer School Days Shortchange Our Children, and it features this conversation by two Chicago school parents. They still need to get a decent amount of sleep at night. And they now they have to wake up earlier, and they have, um, in order to accommodate the school day starting earlier than it did when they started, and um, now they have less time in the evening. Essentially, they go on to complain about how much time their kids are spending in school, so it really doesn't wash with what he said at the debate tonight. It sounds like criticism of the plan for the longer school day. Right. One, uh, one final point uh, regarding Commissioner Garcia. The uh, mayor's camp notes that uh, the commissioner has for a long time, uh, all through this campaign, been very critical of the $2.2 million cut the mayor made in mental health spending. That's really a cut that originated in Springfield. Then the mayor closed uh, six clinics because of it up here, leaving six open. They point out that Commissioner Garcia at the county voted to cut $2.6 million from county 
County Mental Health Services, mainly for women uh, and uh, others, uh, inmates at the county jail. Uh, the mayor's cut was 2.2 million. Garcia supported 2.6 million in mental health care cuts, according to the mayor's people. Uh, Jeff and Dawn. All right, Mike, Dane, Larry, thank you. All right, let's get back over to Natalie Bomke at the tag board. Natalie, the debate in our studios also played out over social media. It certainly did. A lot of people fact checking as the debate went along. We have two comments about schools. Let's get to the first one here coming from the actual Jackal tweeting out Roms managed to lower kindergarten enrollment in CPS with his kindergarten program. The next one coming from Michael Byer did. This is about the candidates height height, by the way. Did Rom demand his seat get lifted? He looks taller than Chewy. I've been next to both and Chewy is definitely taller. We love that fact checking. Thank you, Michael. The actual Jackal tweeting again. Rom is promising no strike, but his bargaining team has yet to put any proposals forth during contract bargaining with CTU. And finally, we end with Kenzo Shibata. After every campaign promise Ron makes, Rom makes that is, I finish his thought with quote, and I had four years to do that. End quote. We're going to get your final thoughts on the debate coming up. Thank you, Natalie. And we have.